Yo, what's going on, boys? It's your boy Dobbs here, and this is episode one of my player review, I guess, series you could say. You guys wanted a different HUD series, I wanted to put one out, and you guys thought player reviews was a good way to go, and I thought so too. Um, it's a good way to help out you guys, give you guys my two cents, and uh, tell you guys some really solid players for a solid price in HUD. Um, this doesn't apply to GM modes or anything like that. Um, this is just strictly HUD, so I'm just going to be helping you guys uh, out uh, Hockey Ultimate team wise. And sorry if my voice is a little raspy, um, I'm really sick. I've been trying to put out videos, but I could not get a commentary going, but I'm getting better, so, um, other than that, let's get into Brian Campbell, um, don't worry about the salary or anything like that, this doesn't have to apply with, um, Hockey Ultimate Team, but here's what matters, uh, he's strictly an offensive defenseman, his physical category isn't that great, but he is a fantastic offensive defenseman, this guy is so underrated, in and out of this game, he is fantastic, um, as you can see in his shooting category, his shooting is pretty good, um, slap shot accuracy, you really don't, like, the accuracy is usually, like, low 70s, uh, high 70s around there, but he has an 80 for slap shot accuracy, which is really good, uh, slap shot power is really good as well, 88, and, um, 87 wrist shot power is really good for an offensive defenseman, get those low shots on net, get those rebounds, and, uh, 81 for wrist shot accuracy, so he's a really good shooter, a really good offensive defenseman, but on to the skating, this is where you'll have a lot of fun with Brian Campbell, he has 89 acceleration, 89 agility, 82 balance, which is, it doesn't really matter in this game, don't worry about balance, 87 endurance, and 90 speed, you'll be flying up and down the rank with Brian Campbell, I've tried it myself, I have Eric Carlson in my lineup, and um, when he's injured or something like that, I always have Brian Campbell as my backup. I personally can relate him to uh, Eric Carlson. Um, they're both really good defensemen. Brian Campbell's just a lot cheaper and very underrated, so I definitely pick him up. Now onto the puck skills, which he has an amazing category as well. You have 87 deking, so you, if you guys want to throw in some dangles with your defenseman, uh, he's really good there, so he's got amazing hands. Really good hand, well, I guess you could say average hand eye. Um, it's pretty, uh, it's I'd say it's decent for a defenseman. Um, passing's a 90, and puck control's a 90. So, you'll be making some nice passes. You'll have some good puck control. And all around, just a solid offensive player. Now, this is where he lacks, the physical category. I really wouldn't worry too much about this. Uh, he has a 78 aggressiveness, 78 body checking, 84 durability. So, he is pretty durable. Uh, fighting seals a 70. You don't want to be fighting with Brian Campbell. And 80 strength. I mean, it's not the worst. I've seen a lot... Um, a lot worse, I guess you could say. I just repeated that twice, but um, you don't want to be taking the body with Brian Campbell, but I've used him before, and he can dish out a body check here and there, but your main objective is just using him on the power play, getting those low shots off, and um, just cycling that puck, because he's really good with the passing, uh, really good skating, and just all-around great shooter. So, physical category doesn't worry too much, but if you're into physicality, go after someone like Shea Weber. Um, senses, he has amazing senses. That discipline of 95 if you guys really like the poke check and uh, you spam that poke check you will rarely get a penalty uh, 95 discipline if you guys don't know what that is it's just basically um, you're more immune I guess you could say to penalties so you can spam that poke check and not have to worry that's really good um, offensive awareness 89 which is really good as well and poison 85 which I really don't know what that means but um, he is an amazing census category as well that discipline really brings it up now, defense. Of course, he's a defenseman, but he's uh, kind of lax in his defensive categories. He's obviously an offensive defenseman, but his defense is really good for an offensive defenseman. He has 84 defensive awareness, which could be better, but it's not bad. Um, 85 shot blocking, which is pretty solid, and stick checking in of an 84. And you could always boost that in height, but that's pretty solid, and um, you can definitely work around it. So he's a solid offensive defenseman. Now, let's get into the hockey ultimate team. Alright, so we're back. We're in the Hockey Ultimate team now, and um, this is what, what you'll search if you want to find Brian Campbell. You search left defenseman, NHL, Florida. I just set the buy now minimum to 3,000 so I don't get all the, I guess, worst defensemen on Florida. Um, so you want to search that, and you'll um, you'll see Dmitry Kulikov and Brian Campbell. So he goes for really cheap. He goes around the 3K area. Uh, 3.2 is not bad, but I'm pretty sure you can get a lot better. But um, a while back, he was going for like 5K. He was doing really good. But this is his hut stats. He has 89 skating, which is amazing in this game. Speed is everything in this game. It's really popular, so... 89 skate, 84 shot, he's a really hard shot for a defenseman, um, 
he, I think he even has a harder shot than Shea Weber in this game, to be honest. So he has a really amazing shot. Um, 88 hands, he'll be dangling for days. He has amazing hand-eye coordination. Like I said, 80 checking is kind of lacking, and 83 defense is pretty good. You can uh, get around it. If you're a good defender in club and stuff like that, you can get around it just fine. But Brian Campbell usually goes for around 3K. As you can see, uh, 4.5, 3.5. Uh, 3.2 is your cheapest bet right now, but if you want to get the cheapest Brian Campbell in the market, this is what you do. All right, let's reset this really quick. Oh my goodness gracious, come on here. It's a really easy tip. You just go minimum price 50 and you just search it. And all right, sorry, my audio cut off there. I don't even know what happened, but um, I'll show you guys again in case it cut off. I don't even know what ha was going on there. My mic was messed, but uh, minimum price 50. That's all you want to do and just search it. There you go. Um, don't put maximum price or anything like that. And all the players that are going to be um, expiring soon will come up first. So you'll probably get a good price for it. You'll get a good steal. So um, this is really good. I already have a Brian Campbell, but I would definitely pay 3k for Brian Campbell so that's your best bet there your next best bet is um this one right here it's 3.8 but if you find look at all the early cards like don't look at the next pages don't go on like page two page three um I guess you can lock bids if it's like um if it's a really good price like say 150 right there um start bidding on that just get some bids going if there's low bids like that um just keep bidding uh let another one right here 2.9 so just keep bidding guys and you'll for sure uh, get a really good price for brian campbell but he's just an all-around all, a really good offensive defenseman he's amazing on the power play really recommend him on the first line power play alongside like eric carlson or something like that that'd be deadly passing it back and forth getting some really good shots off but uh, all around just an amazing defenseman so hopefully you guys enjoyed Enjoyed and leave a comment down below for what player you'd like to see next reviewed or I might come up with it I don't know, but hopefully you guys like this series and uh, be sure to like comment subscribe guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace